A survey asked buyers whether color, size, or brand influenced their choice of cell phone. The results are below. 216 said size, 105 said brand, 229 said color, 52 said size and brand, 120 said color and size, 68 said color and brand, 36 said all three, and 46 said none of these. We will begin by organizing the information in the Venn diagram below, where set B is a set of buyers influenced by brand, set S is a set of buyers influenced by size, and set C is a set of buyers influenced by color. Once we complete the Venn diagram, we will answer the questions on the right. To create the Venn diagram, we'll start at the bottom and work our way up. At the bottom, we're told 46 said none of these, and therefore there are 46 buyers in the universal set, but not in set B or set S or set C, and therefore there are 46 buyers in this region here. Next, 36 said all three, which means there are 36 buyers in the intersection of the three sets, which is this set here. This is a set where the buyers are influenced by all three, and therefore we have 36 in this set. Next, 68 said color and brand, and therefore there are 36 buyers in the intersection of set C and set B. The intersection of set C and set B is this set here. So there are 68 buyers in this set, but notice how there are already 36 buyers in the set, and since 68 minus 36 is 32, there are 32 buyers in this set here. These 32 buyers represent the buyers that are only influenced by brand and color, while these 36 are influenced by brand and color, but also size. Next, 120 said color and size, and therefore there are 120 buyers in the intersection of set C and set S. The intersection of set C and set S is this set here. There are already 36 buyers in this set. 120 minus 36 is equal to 84. There are 84 buyers in this set here. Next, 52 said size and brand, and therefore there are 52 buyers in the intersection of set S and set B. Here's the intersection of set S and set B. There are already 36 buyers in this set. 52 minus 36 is equal to 16. There are 16 buyers in this set. Next, 220 said color, and therefore there are 229 buyers in set C, this set here. But notice how there are already 32 plus 36 plus 84 buyers in this set. So determine the number of buyers that are only influenced by color, or this set here. We take 229, and we subtract the sum of 32, 36, and 84. Which is equal to 77. There are 77 buyers in this set here that are only influenced by color. Next, 105 said brand. There are 105 buyers in set B. We already have 16 plus 36 plus 32 buyers in this set. To determine the number of buyers that are only in set B, or this set here, we take 105 and we subtract the sum of 16, 36, and 32. This is equal to 21. And then finally we're told 216 said size. There are 216 buyers in set S. There are already 16 plus 36 plus 84 buyers in this set. To find the number of buyers that are only in set S, we take 216 and we subtract the sum of 16, 36, and 84, which is equal to 80. There are 80 buyers only in set S. Now that the Venn diagram is completed, let's answer the questions. How many buyers were influenced by color and size, but not brand? Well, the intersection of set C and set S will give us those influenced by color and size, which is this intersection here. But these 36 are also influenced by brand, and therefore 
The set of buyers influenced by color and size, but not brand, is this set here, which is 84 buyers. Next, how many buyers were not influenced by color? The buyers not influenced by color will be the buyers not in set C. Here's set C. The buyers not in set C are the buyers in this set here. Which is 46 plus 21 plus 16 plus 80 buyers. which is equal to 163 buyers. And then finally, how many buyers were surveyed? The number of buyers surveyed is the number of buyers in the universal set, which is the entire rectangle. So here's the universal set. The number of buyers in the universal set is equal to 46 plus 21 plus 16 plus 80. plus 32, plus 36, plus 84, plus 77. Which is equal to 392 buyers. I hope you found this helpful.